Mocha Monroe here and I'm back with another one. And today we're breaking down Stranger Things Season 3. Let's get into it. When the season first opens up, we see guys working on the hole that Eleven closed on Season 2 finale. But not any old guys. Russian spies. They seem to be using this machine because it has the capability to open up the hole. Probably to access the creatures behind that hole for war tactics or bribing people. Then we get to see what Hops is up to. Things have changed since the kids are getting older and with Eleven and Mike dating, it's making Hops really uncomfortable. They're spending all their time together and he doesn't know how to go about it. Can we just take a moment to say how cute Finn is, the Mike character, and how much he's grown up? Oh my gosh. Next, we see Mike getting back to the gang, Lucas, Max, and Will, but no Dustin in sight. Then we see Steve working at the ice cream parlor. Then we see Will feel something, like the evil creature is back. But if Eleven closed the hole, how could he be back? Next, we get to see Joyce, Will's mom. And you could tell that she's grieving and that she's lonely because remember her boyfriend was killed last season. Also, Billy, Max's stepbrother, is a focal point for the season. Billy was also a focal point for Karen, Mike's mom, because he was making her feel things she hasn't felt in a while. So Billy makes plans to make her feel even more. But as Billy is on his way to make Karen feel more, things turn for the worse as we get a visit from a creature from the past. Finally back on the scene is our favorite nerd, Dustin. And he brings back from camp a machine that can pick up everybody's secrets. But since Dustin's gang is only kissing their girlfriends nowadays, Dustin decides to link up with his best buddy, Steve, and a new addition to the show, Steve's co-worker at the ice cream parlor, Robin. Also someone who has more lines this season is Luca's little sister, Erica. Can we talk about how well Millie Bobby Brown, Eleven, acts in Stranger Things? Everybody brings their certain something to the role, to their character. But for me, she stands out so well because she is able to adapt to any situation and play her role accordingly. And I just, I love her for that. I also love how they allowed Max's character and Eleven's character to come together as girlfriends and show Eleven that she has her own individuality. I can also appreciate the subtlety of women rights that the brothers wrote into the script. I can appreciate it because it wasn't overwhelming. It was just little subtle nuances of women are wonderful, women are powerful, women are equal, but it's not just all in your face. Like, um, the Last Avengers, which was, oh, I liked it, but okay, anyway, back to Stranger Things. Oh, we can't forget our favorite couple besides Eleven and Mike. It's Jonathan Byers and Nancy Wheeler, and they are working at the newspaper. So they get a call that it's some crazy rats running around town, like trying to eat fertilizer while deranged rats running around the town. And of course, the best reporter in town, Nancy Wheeler, is on the case, along with her boyfriend taking the best pictures. So they go to the old lady's house who reports the rats, and she actually has a chance of catching one or ends up catching one, and this happens to her. Then you have Joyce, who's trying to figure out why the hell her magnets aren't sticking to anything the store that she works in the magnets aren't sticking her refrigerator at home the magnets aren't sticking so she hooks up with Hobbs 
You have Dustin, Steve, and Robin linked up. Plus, Miss, you can't spell America without Erica, Luca's sister. In the midst of Joyce and Cop Hobbs trying to find out why the hell the magnets aren't sticking, they find out more than what they bargained for, and this lunatic starts following them. Freaking Arnold Schwarzenegger starts following in the Russian version. But they get the chance to kidnap this guy for more answers. And he's also the guy that created that big machine that we've seen at the beginning of the season opening. So Hobbs and Joyce and their kidnapped Russian hooks up with Murray Bowman. You know, our favorite conspiracy theorist because he's fluent in Russian. And that's the only thing that our kidnapped Russian speaks. So he translates and that is his job in the show. So then you have Billy walking around town acting really different since his encounter with the creature. Could he be a new host? Of course he's the new host on some the faculty type of stuff. And he's walking around town trying to grab up anybody that he can so this creature can feed. But he's not that same little creature from two seasons ago. He's enormous because he's feeding off of people around the damn town. So then Eleven and Max catches wind to this. Let's take this time to give a really big F you to the crooked politician that actually made deals with the Russians in the first place. So the big crooked politician decides to have a really fun fair. By this time, the old crew gets together and I have a really big smile on my face. Because when the crew gets together, you know what time it is. It's time for reckoning. But since the creature is so large this time around, Eleven will have a hard time defeating it by herself. Her powers seem to be weakening. Meanwhile, Steve, Dustin, Erica, and Robin have discovered the secret place where they keep all the stuff to access the big machine that will open up the hole. So while Joyce and Hobbs run rapid through the park, trying to find answers and escape the Russian, the gang prepares for the biggest creature that they've had to defeat yet. Next, we see something that I like to call the Star Court Showdown. Elle prepares to fight the enormous monster, but her powers are weakening and he's just too powerful. So everyone prepares to fight. In the end, Joyce pressed the button that deadens the machine and it kills the beast along with the crew. But then we find out that Hopper didn't make it. And that is when I cried. But they did give us a look into season four because this green stuff right here was not only for the machine, but it's actually to create future creatures. So did Hopper really die? Will he be around for season four of Stranger Things? Well, damn, we have to wait a whole nother year to find out. But in the meantime, you guys comment down below and tell me what you thought about the season. Have you seen the season yet? Are you excited for season four? And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more. And I'll be back sooner than later with another one. Bye.